Hello and welcome to today's Bible study. We are in 2 Kings chapter 11 today. So we finished off yesterday with Jehu completely annihilating all the Baal worshippers. He got them all in their temple and just wiped them all out. And that would have been great had he continued to follow the Lord, but for some reason he was still practicing in idolatry himself with the golden cups. Um, so while God gave him a blessing that he would have four generations on the throne, because of the sin of idolatry, Israel was starting to lose some land to um, the king of Syria as a consequence to that sin. So yeah, so we'll see what happens now in chapter 11. Hopefully you are ready. you got your Bible with you, any commentary or notes that you've got, your beverage of choice. Today I'm drinking a nettle tea with burdock root again like I did yesterday. So good for you, it's so so healthy. What's your favourite beverage to drink while you're Bible studying? Let me know. And let's get into chapter 11. And when Athaliah the mother of Ahaziah saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed all the seed royal. But Jehosheba, the daughter of King Joram, sister of Ahaziah, took Joash, the son of Ahaziah, and stole him from among the king's sons which were slain. And they hid him, even him and his nurse, in the bedchamber from Athaliah, so that he was not slain. And he was with her, hid in the house of the Lord, six years. And Athaliah did reign over the land. So Jehu obviously has destroyed all of Ahab's family. Ahab said had 70 sons, so that is a lot of descendants. But that's just in the north. What about the south? He also had descendants in Judah. And Athaliah, while I think she has a pretty name, she is um, not such a nice lady. She's the mother of King Ahaziah. And obviously Jehu killed her son. So she was um, not happy. She was also the daughter of Ahab and Jezebel, mind you. So that kind of gives you an idea of who she is. And so she decided to kill all the royal heirs. And she took the throne for herself. Such a Jezebel, isn't she? You can tell she's Jezebel's daughter. That's the sort of thing that Jezzy would do. But fortunately, Jehosheba, as Ahaziah's sister, she rescued Ahaziah's son, which would have been Athaliah's grandson, Joash. And then they hid him in the temple for six years during Athaliah's evil reign. And that would have been God's protection of this boy as well. Has she just gone and like killed everyone, like all her family? Crazy, crazy lady. Ugh. And the seventh year, Jehadiah sent and fetched the rulers over hundreds. Of course she, <laughs> the seventh year, it's always brand new, isn't it? So Jehadiah sent and fetched the rulers over hundreds with the captains and the guard and brought them to him in the house of the Lord and made a covenant with them and took an oath of them in the house of the Lord and showed them the king's son. And he commanded them, saying, This is the thing that ye shall do. A third part of you shall enter in on the Sabbath, in on the Sabbath, shall even be keepers of the watch of the king's house, and a third shall, part shall be at the gate of Sur, and a third part at the gate behind the guard. So shall ye keep the watch of the house, that it be not broken down. And two parts of you all that go forth on the Sabbath, even they shall keep the watch of the house of the Lord about the king. And ye shall compass the king round about, every man with his weapons in his hand, and he that cometh within the ranges, let him be slain. And be ye with the king as he goeth out and as he cometh in. So Jehadiah is uh, the high priest, and he said, enough is enough, we can't let her go on like this, we need to do something. So he gathered a group of loyal men, he showed them Joash, and he planned a coup against Athaliah. And he, he split them into three groups to protect the king's palace. And also made sure that the young king was protected when the coup was finally revealed. And anyone who tried to approach them was to be murdered. And the captains over the hundreds did according to all things that Jehadiah the priest commanded, and they took every man his men, 
that were come in on the Sabbath with them that should go out on the Sabbath and came to Jehodiah the priest. And to the captains over hundreds did the priest give David spears and shields that were in the temple of the Lord. Ooh, David's equipment. That's cool. And the guard stood, every man with his weapons in his hand, round about the king from the right corner of the temple to the left corner of the temple, along by the altar and the temple. And he brought forth the king's son and put the crown upon him and gave him the testimony and they made him king and anointed him. And they clapped their hands and said, God save the king. Aww. So everyone was armed, everything was ready to go. And they brought out young Joash and they crowned him and anointed him and they shouted, long live the king. I wonder how old Joash was at this point. Do we find out? Ooh. Curious, I have to investigate if it's not written here. And when Athalia heard the noise of the guard and of the people, mm -hmm, she mad. She came to the people into the temple of the Lord. And when she looked, behold, the king stood by a pillar as the manor was, and the princes and the trumpeters by the king, and all the people of the land rejoiced and blew the trumpets. And Athalia rent her clothes and cried, Treason, treason. But Jehadiah the priest commanded the captains of the hundreds, the officers of the host, and said unto them, Have her forth without, have her forth without the rangers, and send him that followeth her, killed with the sword. But the priest had said, Let her not be slain in the house of the Lord. Yeah. And they laid hands on her, and she went by the witch. The horses came into the king's house, and there she was slain. Yay! So yeah, she heard all the commotion. As Jehadiah hoped that it would go down like that, and she saw Joash, who she thought was dead. She was like, no, treason! But, you know, the audacity, you know, to call treason, honey, after what you did. So what you did <laughs> but yeah it was too late for her the commanders who were in charge of the army were loyal to um, the rightful king and they took her out obviously she they didn't want um, her to, to be killed in God's house so they took her outside and killed her I'm amazed she, lo I'm amazed she lasted as long as she did to be honest with you And Jehudiah made a covenant between the Lord and the king and the people, that they should be the Lord's people, between the king also and the people. And all the people of the land went into the house of Baal and break it down. His altars and his images break they in pieces thoroughly, and slew Matan, and the priest of Baal before the altars, and the priest appointed officers over the house of the Lord. And he took the rulers over hundreds, and the captains and the guard, and all the people of the land, and they brought down the king from the house of the Lord, and came by the way of the gate of the guard to the king's house, and he sat on the throne of the kings. And all the people of the land rejoiced, and the city was in quiet. And they slew Athalia with the sword beside the king's house. Seven years old, there we go, was Je Jehoash when he began to reign. He was only seven! Oh! <laughs> but, you know, that's an important number, we know that. But he was the baby! <laughs> okay. So uh, nobody grieved over Athalia, over her death, because they were obviously tired of her evilness and Baal worship. And I think at this point everyone's quite sensitive to the Lord and Jehadiah led everyone in making a covenant and they renewed their faithfulness to God. And as an act of obedience, they tore down the temple of Baal, they destroyed everything, altars, the images, they killed their priest of Baal. And, um, yeah, and then little Joash was only a baby when he was made king. That's why they waited so long. Okay, I answered my own question. I, was, I asked earlier, like, why, how did she last so long on the throne? And that's because... At the time, Joash would have just been like one years old, right? And so they waited until he was the divine number seven.
So there we go, we've got <coughs> both Israel and Judah now being eliminated of Baal worship. Then we got rid of the evil queen Athalia, Jezebel's daughter, and she's a chip off the old block, isn't she, that one? And now we, we should be a bit more restored. We've got a covenant that's made between the people of God now, people and God, sorry. And hopefully <laughs> we're on the right track now. We shall see. Um, okay, so please leave any takeaways or comments that you've got about that chapter. I hope you enjoyed it. And please do join me tomorrow for chapter 12. And until then, I will see you then, God willing. Have a blessed day. Bye.